Hey all, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be taking another look at the Watson Game Topper, the standard version. Basically what the standard version is, is that it just has the basic metal uh, railing system. It doesn't have the wood grain. And so I've had this thing for over a year now. This is the Gen 1, I guess that's what they're calling it. And so the nice thing about this, is it actually has these grooves here, which I'll take a, a closer look. See here, like I was saying, there's a slot there for cards. And you can actually stick these cards in it. So like here's some magic cards that I haven't sleeved yet. And so I can actually just kind of place them in here. Now the one thing I don't like about this system here is that I wish that the opening was just a, a few millimeters uh, smaller. Uh, because like if I have one card here, see how it kind of barely hangs in there and it falls out? Now I have this happen a lot with games. And I feel that if it was just a little bit tighter, I'd be able to keep my cards in there without accidentally bumping them and them falling out. Then I have the game topper actually sitting on top of a wooden dining table. Uh, the table actually came up to almost my armpits. And so I felt like when I was trying to reach the center of the table, I just couldn't quite get it. So I actually bought a stool, which I'm sitting on now. However, I'm, my legs are actually hitting and rubbing the bottom of the dining table. And so what I did actually was I actually got uh, my 3D printer out and printed some leg uh, supports to raise the, the table. Uh, and I actually had enough stools to go all the right way around the table. However, I recently acquired four gaming chairs, which actually allowed them to raise higher than the dining table chairs that I was using at the time. And so I actually gotten rid of most of my stools, and I'm using these four gaming chairs and a dining table chair at the end, and then I have the stool here, which my plan is to eventually get some more of the gaming chairs for each end of the table. Uh, which kind of leads me to the next point. I was using a basically like a three by six foot uh, white Costco table. And it was more narrow than the actual topper, which then actually caused uh, the topper to kind of bow in some places, uh, which I will so show. As you can see, the rail system doesn't completely butt up to each other now. It did before when I first got it. Um, I think it was due to having the uh, three by six, three foot by six foot table that I was using. It was just too narrow, and so when people leaned on it, it caused some of the things to kind of shift and bow. Um, but yeah, it was not a big issue. It's I still didn't pretty like good. the way it sat on the table because the the end of the table extended past the the topper, which obviously because the the Watson isn't the same size as the Holmes. If I would have used the Holmes, the Holmes would have been the right uh, width and length for that Costco table. But that's all I could find. It's kind of hard to find a white fold-up table that matches the size of the Watson. The reason I went with the Watson is because it provided me with a few more inches wider than the Holmes, but just not as long. So like games like Descent would have been easier to play because of how much space it takes up uh, width-wise. You know, length of the game, it depends on how you set up all the components, the extra stuff. And so I wasn't too concerned. Um, another cool aspect about the game toppers is that the corners underneath there's no like side walls it's actually just the lip and then it curls under and you can feel the screws that are holding on to the uh, under rail like they're holding on to the rail system itself to these end caps so I'm able to take my uh, microphone stand here and actually affix it to or should I say vice it because there's a clamp vice it to the underneath of this table because there is nothing there other than this piece here and you can just clamp it right to that and it comes up and it just right there it is it's my blue yeti but it's black so but it's called the blue yeti. so another thing that i really enjoy about the the game topper is that if you don't like the game that you're playing with take it off or let's say you're in the middle of a game and things aren't going your way instead of flipping the table because it's so heavy just you know take that off no one likes it grab the next one and just throw it on there. And ready to go. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, there we go. See? Nice thing about the Game Topper System 2 is that, let's say you're having a party and you want other people to play, not just, you know, four to six players to play just on one table, but you can actually divide the table up by taking a rail system like this. And setting it on one end, and then voila, 
you've just created one small table. But if you're going to get one, the other table, side of the table is going to get lonely. So you have to get two rails. That's only, only going to make the most sense. Right? So now you have two small game tables. Or maybe you can just take one half, put it on a coffee table in your, in your living room to uh, entertain guests at your couch. And then have the other smaller table at your dining table. Or you, maybe you can make smaller. Okay? And you're going to need some mats for that. Right? So there's a green uh, field mat for wargaming, in case you want to do it on a smaller table. And you have a space mat, which I was actually using for space base. So yeah, mats, mats, and mats. I mean, that's all you really need is to change the flavor of your game. It's just change the mat. Another thing that comes with it, obviously, these are extra, are these uh, cup holders. So this is the gin one. And so you have this little coaster here, cork board, right? And some wood grain on the back. And so uh, that just comes on top of this. You take this little metal cup holder out, and boom, right there. Look, look. Put that in there. Boom, there it is. Put that on top, and then connect it. All you do is shove it into that lip, pop it up, pop it down. It's locked into place. You can lift it up, move it as, as you wish, drop it down. And then you can also get double cup holders that and that can also be a component tray. All you need is another cork board, which it comes with, and it just covers that right here. And you just pop it in. The nice thing about this, it has this channel here where the uh, there are clamps on each side of the table that connect both sides together. And so that's designed to so the clamp sits in here and you just pop it in there and then each chair has its own cup holder. So it's actually really nice. Then what's what's you know what's all this, you know, without extras, right? So you're, if you're gonna get all this stuff, you might as well go ahead and get a rules holder, right? So for DM, I use that all the time. So that way I can hold my my RPG books, my Pathfinder 2 second edition books that go there. Uh, and then, you know, you got to have a dice tower, right? And so this also locks into place. So you got these little fingers that come out. You pop it backwards and then pop it down. Boom, there it is. That's all you need. But, you know, all all things aside, these, these components are good, right? They're nice. They're nice to have. They're nice to look at. But is it good? Is, is the game topper worth the money? You know, that's, that's, that's the real question. You know, it is expensive. You know, not everyone's going to be able to afford one. And that's okay. You know, this table is very fixed, should I say, to the table. It's not moving. The table's moving. Right? And so, on the bottom of, like, this rail system is the uh, three material that actually helps hold it to the table. So that's a really nice... Feature. But is it a necessity? Hmm. That's for you to really decide. But for me, once I've played on this, I can't play without it. So you know you need, if you're going to get one of these, you're going to need one of these because you're going to take it places. Definitely well worth it. However, you do need two people. Because even when I try it myself, sometimes I rub the bottom and so I got a little bit of uh, cloth damage there from rubbing it on pavement and uh, asphalt trying to move it for myself um, and you know if anything you can hide yourself or your kids in it you know it makes for a nice gift for the kids and so I know I have raved about this topper I mean the the great benefits are is that if you don't like the playing field you can change out the mat right uh, if you really want to flip the table, you know, you can just grab the mat and doo, like I showed. Uh, so this table may not seem very customizable, but it really is. It's very customizable because you can change the mats, you can take out the cup holders, you can place them anywhere you want, except for where the cleat is that holds the two parts together, or you can get like one of those double cup holders that go right there where the cleat is. The cleat is actually just held together by a couple uh, screws like clamp screws and you can slide it so that way you can take it apart and just tighten it back down when you're ready it's pretty simple I always want to play on a game topper now that I played on one you know last year I went to Gen Con and I was tempted to take my game topper with me just so I could play on a topper at the hotel you know uh, but I didn't because it was a bit much to take and lug around when you put it into the double carrying bag when I say double because it actually has a side that opens up two sides each side is for one half of the table and so put one side one put one half of the table in one side and the other half in the other zip it up and then it's about you know close to 80 pounds together 
and that's quite a bit for somebody to carry and so that's something it is heavy um, however it's portable it might be a little bit heavy but it's not as heavy as a complete table you know uh, this I can take it apart put it in the tabs put it in the bag and take it somewhere I've taken this to game shops and played on it ran demos on it um, a table you could take the time of unscrewing all the legs and taking it all apart and then taking it with you but why go through that much trouble when you just need the topper right and so saying is the Watson table worth it it's not as long as the homes uh, however it is a little bit wider and I think that it is worth it for its price point it's a little bit cheaper than the homes the homes is nicer because it's longer the width allows you to play you know bigger games like I said that's why I got the Watson I could have went for the homes and had more elbow room but I didn't I decided to go for what made, what made most sense and that was what I needed and so I got the Watson the only thing better than a Watson is upgraded game topper that's what's better I want to welcome you to the new addition to Christian Adventure Gamer an oak luxuriant game topper but what would make this better right if we're gonna ask what could make this better how about some more mats because you know they're all about game mats so let's look at this one here Fantasy mats. Look at that. Man, it's beautiful. Yeah. There. That. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We got somewhere over here. I'm trying to storm a castle. See that? Someone's trying to storm a castle. Nice. Over here, someone's. Uh, Looks like trying to burn a village down or a mine or something. It's nice. Oh. Then we have oh, this one. Yeah. How about oh. Ryan Lockett Matt? I think for right now I'll keep the fancy on. So again, take that down, and I take this, and throw it off to the side, and uh, bam. Ooh, I just noticed something too. It looks like someone's getting ready to raid down here. If you look at this, right there, yeah, it's beautiful, like this one. Oh, there's a dragon up here too. Alright. So, uh, another good thing about having the game topper is that once your wife finds out how much you spent on it, you can always make your bed on it. Yeah, I love these beautiful mats.